God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our church and outreach ministry, or to donate to this ministry, please email me at Abundant dot grace at att dot net. Our message title today is Value Others. Our scripture will be from the book of Mark chapter 12 and verse 31, which reads, Love your neighbor. My beloved, as Christians, we are to value others. And here are two things we should never do. One, expect to feel fully at home in this world. And why? Because we are citizens of heaven. You can read that in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 20. And two, become so heavenly minded that we are no earthly use. The salt and light principles Jesus taught call for us to influence and illuminate others for good and for God. So that means, my beloved, taking responsibility to do things better at home, on the job, and in our dealings on an everyday basis. If the only people you show genuine care for are in your church, your salt isn't flavoring and your light isn't dispelling darkness. Jesus' command to love your neighbor includes the less than lovable. And you only love others when you add value to their lives. You ask, how do I do that? Well, number one, by truly valuing them. That calls for believing in them before they believe in you. Serving them before they serve you. Loving them before they love you. And giving to them without expecting anything in return. Two, by making yourself more valuable. But you can't give what you don't have. You must earn and grow in order to give and guide. Three, by knowing what they value. What happens when you're interested only in your own agenda? You know very little about the people around you. So my beloved, make others' priorities your priorities. Ask to hear their stories. Discover their hopes and dreams. Make their success part of your mission. And four, by doing things that God values. You see, my beloved, when your life is done, what will you have lived for? Think about that for a moment. What will you have lived for? Eventually, everything on earth will turn to dust, and that includes you. So give yourself to things that will last beyond your lifetime, which is give yourself to things that have eternal value. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for this message. Value others. We know that at times we fall short. Teach us, lead us, and guide us to value others as we value ourselves. Teach us how to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Thank you, Father, for your love for us. Because of your love, we have your grace. And we have your grace because you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. So we thank you today, Father God. Help us to lead others to Jesus Christ so their souls may be saved and will be with us in heaven forever. Thank you, Father, as we pray in the name of your Son, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, love your neighbor today. Go out and tell someone you love them. Ask if there is something you can do to help them. Look for someone in need. Help them with the love of Jesus Christ. God bless you and go with God.